Welcome back to another video, it's Hogwarts at day number 15. Um, as we all know, Christmas was yesterday, so there is one huge change in Hogwarts, and there will be continually smaller changes. Um, so let's get into it. Here we are, and if you have been following my updates, you would notice the change right away. If you come around here, you can see that the um astronomy tower set has been placed here um i did get this for christmas and this um is a huge addition to the hogwarts in the last piece of castle that you can get currently to add to my collection i have already found an exact spot for where this goes um i never really said it my updates but the clock tower was just substituting for the viaduct entrance um correct me if i'm wrong on that but i'm pretty sure that's what uh, it's called either that or there's a little archway there that's the viaduct entrance but anyways um viaduct entrance where we started the bridge does need to be one or one stud longer so i'm working on that and so this being put into here is a huge change of course the, also we also have the actual part of the astronomy tower instead of just the entrance um right here beautiful set love the building techniques inside of it um and so um, there is a little entrance if you can see down there and right now this area is empty this this big thing right here was pushed forward and met up against the water here and the bridge went down to this little hole. But I've decided that there's going to be one big change with this to where there's going to be a pathway from that entrance. It's going to come and then you go up the stairs to get into this big tower here. Um, so with that, there will be, um, this will probably be greenery, a uh, green pathway kind of like all this over here and back there, which we'll get to in a second. Um, it'll probably all be that, that light green that comes through. And there is a piece missing if you know, um, this right here is missing, which is has my Hufflepuff calling room and dorm and also the Yuval stuff in there. I've shown that in previous updates, but, um, that is missing. It used to be right here. It probably will continue to be there. Uh, I just have not integrated it into there yet. So, we're gonna have to wait and see to next update what happens with that. But coming around here, you can see this is where the clock tower is placed. Um, I know it, it goes back there behind the great hall and stuff by the by one of the uh sorry uh i forgot what's called the quad uh, yeah the quad um it goes back there by the quad um and has the uh wooden bridge connecting to it but i decided mine's gonna be a little different i'm gonna have it backing up here and don't worry this gap will be filled this is not permanent i want to fill this up make it look um as nice as i can this is just for now since this has just been put in here and this little entrance i'm thinking is for the students it's not really like i said not completely 100 percent accurate when they get off the train they can go through this doorway but like i said not 100 percent accurate also not 100 percent accurate the king's cross is literally right next to hogwarts um so this is kind of how I integrated it. It is connected on jumpers. So if you look down there, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. One second. Here we go. So I have taken this off, and it is just connected by all these jumpers, and so is the rest of the astronomy tower there. So with this being moved, I did um, put some more flooring in here, which does not come in the set, and this is also attached by jumper plates. Oh man, I can't get it up right now, one sec, I need two hands. Well, oh, forgot I didn't put it down with jumper plates, it's just attached with normal studs, but yeah. I just put this down here to make this room a little bigger. I know this archway's still here, it's not really supposed to be like that, but 
Maybe I'll close that off sometime. This is a very good build and it is still connected, or it's actually not connected here. It's attached by jumpers as well, but it's not connected to the Vidoc entrance. And I don't know why LEGO did not include a flat panel piece to put there, but I should have one in my collection somewhere, so hopefully by next update this will be patched so there's not just a giant gap. Or maybe I'll get another door, because the door is over here. You are able to come out. And this is the way that you get into the greenhouse. I know there's like seven or eight, six maybe, greenhouses. Um, I'm not getting seven or eight of these sets, so I will only have one greenhouse. Here's my old greenhouse, if you've not seen it. Um, this will be being taken apart. And... Yeah been waiting to take this apart until before I got this because I really like this build way better than that one. Um, I built that before this was out. Um, it kind of looks quite similar. I mean, it has the windows in the front, windows on top. But anyways, these are the jumper plates that the clock tower um, attaches to. So if we look just like that, attaches up front. And then there's just some little greenery around here just to make it look more, less bland, I guess. Um, this will probably be filled in with something, uh, but for now it's just blank, or blank, uh, empty, I should say. And there is a little bit of overlapping here just because I didn't want it just to be a straight line. I wanted it to look uh, more natural. And the black lake is still as it was. And everything is still the same as in last update. I almost forgot, but there is um, the headwig with the open wings. I love that mold. And if we come in here, I did recreate uh, part of Dumbledore's death scene. Um, we have Malfoy here also from the set. Very happy he was included. And the Dumbledore from the uh, clock tower set. Um, Snipe's not here yet, and neither, neither are the other Death Eaters, so... It can't be exactly when he dies, but he is still there and he has no wand. So, um, for plans for the future, I'm hoping to get another base plate over here and have all this other stuff that I did say I was gonna have on this base plate. Not planning to have the astronomy tower so soon. Um, probably have the Whomping Willow, even though it should be way over there but not that accurate, and the Hungarian horn tail. Um, not the greenhouse anymore because I got this one. So that'll luckily save up some room, and I don't know, maybe I'll do some more texturing here, maybe some rocks, just to make it look interesting. Maybe make a path, or I don't know. If you have any ideas, definitely leave them in the comments below. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you did enjoy, if you did, um, like, the video and go check out all my other Hogwarts updates if you're not already. Also, um, if you are not yet, please subscribe. Um, we're almost to 50 subscribers. That's halfway to 100. I can't wait. Um, so I'll see you all next week for my next Hogwarts update.